Here's the hair we're using for today's tutorial. It is synthetic hair cut up hair from expression. It comes in three bundles and in three different lengths. It's a coily shiny black color. Using little extensions to just add up to the natural hair because her hair is natural and it's so short. So I'm just using the little extension to just help it so that I can be able to like control it. But before then you have to wash the hair and condition it so that it will be very easy for you to curl the hair. The easiest way to curl a natural hair is to wet the hair even when you finish washing it to like use hand dryer or anything to like dry the hair automatically it's best to just wet the hair before curling it it's easier to work with so while curling the hair like i said before her hair is a little bit short it's really short so that's why we're actually using extension to help it out that's to make it easier for us to curl and also to also help the hair to be able to withstand the pressure of needle and thread that's why we're using extension okay the style we're going for is a side pattern that's why i am curling it this way and while curling the hair i'm just connecting all the tips of the hair to each other like so <music> rolling her hair we just go ahead to sew in the last tip using needle and thread or the last row, the ends of the row, using needle and thread to do so okay this is another way to save time while sewing in after hiding the tips of the row with needle and thread instead of cutting off the thread you just go ahead to extend the thread to where you want to start sewing in the weaves okay this is how to start sewing in weaves or bundles you just first push the needle and thread through the weft and then not completely then you take the weft and the needle together and take it straight to where you want to start sewing in the weave on and then push the needle through the cone row and bring it out from the other part of the head I do have a detailed tutorial on how to curl. We'll leave the link in the description box below. In case if you are new, like you're a new stylist, you don't know how to curl, I have a detailed tutorial on that. So you just go and check it out. When you push the needle and weave through the curl and bring it out from the other side, it will form a loop. Cross the needle through the loop twice to tie the knot before dragging the thread out. We'll go ahead to do this two more times in a slow motion so that you guys will understand because this is a very good way to sew in. And this method helps hold the weaves or web very firmly attached to the cornrow. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in for today's video. Hope you are doing good, hope you are doing great. Today's video is a full sew in, no leave out, no closure, no frontal. Please if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up and also share this video to friends and family. I will advise you not to skip any part of this tutorial so that you don't get to miss any step. Watch this video to the end because it's very detailed. For sewing, I'm starting right from the end of the corn roll like I usually do. This is so that the client be comfortable styling the hair into a ponytail. Since sewing in the bundles or the webs at the back do not have any guidelines so you just have to be careful while doing so. When you are sewing the back part that's um, after the corn roll that's the other part the back very very back part you have to be extremely careful so that you don't get to injure your client. Okay like you guys can tell as I'm sewing in I'm also doing the turnover method yeah and I promise to film a very detailed tutorial on how to do the turnover method so the video is coming up very soon so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't so that you don't get to miss the notification when I upload it so just subscribe so that you'll be notified okay since the hair is in three bundles in three different lengths i will just start by sewing in the longest length first and then take it from there to the shortest length i sewing in i'm also doubling the webs like so this is because i do want all three bundles or to sew in all three bundles on her head because i want the hair to be full okay i'm just sewing in the weaves from left to right or from right to left depending on how you are seeing it we'll just continue doing so until i get very close to the front 
I'm sewing the hair, I'm sewing it in the U shape, I'm minding the fact that the hair is a side pattern. So I'm putting more hair or I'm installing more hairs to the left or the right side. I don't know where you're seeing it from, but the larger portion of the corn row, that's where I'm installing more hair so that that part will not be scanty. Continue sewing in a U shape until when the hair or the both side gets pretty close to each other. And while doing this, I'm also doing the turnover method almost throughout. Okay, now I'm just going to allow you guys to see for yourself so that you get a better understanding before doing the closing. Before I start doing the closing, we just go ahead to use scissors to cut up all the to cut off all the flyaway hairs so that it doesn't get in the way while I'm doing the closing. Moving on to the closing for this hairstyle, I'm using a Swiss lace, you guys. This lace, you can get it anywhere in the market. It's very affordable. You can get it, you can also get it on AliExpress. And I just recently filmed the video, I uploaded a video on how to shop on AliExpress. So we'll leave also, we'll also leave the link in the description box below in case if you are interested or you want to shop on AliExpress. It's cheap and affordable. Mm -hmm. So just go ahead to view or watch that video but before then watch this video completely first before going to watch that video i'm sewing in the swiss lace or the lace just where i want to do the closing or where i want the closing to be and i'm doing that with needle and thread okay i kind of doubled the swiss lace before sewing in this is so that the lace will be very thin to the hair and to let you guys know that this lace was actually measured before sewing it in because it does not come this way you will have to measure it first before fitting it to the remaining part of the hair where you want the closing to be and this lace can also be used for ventilating that's making closures and frontals i also have a detailed video on that a detailed tutorial on how to make a closure yourself at home we'll also leave the link in the description box below in case if you are interested you want to learn how to make a closure for the closing you will need either this spray gel or this um, but you can get any one as far as it is spray gel but i'm just showing you the ones i normally use here in the salon okay this is a particular bonding glue i'll be using but if you cannot get this if you can't lay your hands on this you can use this it will also get the job done so just go ahead to apply the body glue to the webs but before doing so you have to measure the remaining part of the head where you want the closing to be so that you will know how to cut off the length of or to chop off the length of the webs after applying bonding glue and it's advisable to apply the bonding glue to the back side which is also called the inner part of the web after applying the bonding glue to the weft of the hair which I did off camera, we use the scissors to cut off the weft in two pieces so that it will cover up the weft showing on our head in front. I'm placing the hair or the weft of the weave very close to each other giving little or no space in between them. 
we'll continue placing the weft or the weave and while placing I'm adding little pressure so that it will be firm. So I'm gently applying glue to the webs and then placing it on the right part where I want the webs to be. Making sure that I'm placing it on a straight line and also using spray gel to help it hold firm. We'll just allow you guys to see for yourself and then get a better understanding while I'm doing so. So just watch carefully. I do get so many complaints on clothing that I don't show the clothing or the finished look but for this style I'm not going to explain anything I'm just going to allow you guys to see for yourself and understand better so that you will know how to close this kind of hairstyle <laughs> After closing, we just use a tail comb to just comb the hair backwards and use scissors to chop off all the flyaway hairs. Then use a spray gel to spray on that part, that's the parting part so that the part can last for a longer period of time and also that it will help hold the webs very firm to each other at that particular part. And then after that, we just go ahead to brush the hair neatly and apply hair cream or hairspray to the hair. Any hairspray will do. Hope this is helpful. Hope you're able to learn one or two things from this video. And this is the final look. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And subscribe if you haven't. Share to friends and family. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Stay blessed. <music>